Hello and welcome to Kittrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Farmville, North Carolina, and I just put the barley into this bin and I seen a bunch of comments from people recommending that we could just use the auger to dump our material straight into the uh, hog enclosure. However, you know, We've got a long way to go until November. I don't think a thousand uh, bushels of, or a thousand liters even, of barley is going to keep our hogs going when we're down to 5,000 liters of pig food left here. So, you know what I think we're going to do is we're going to take this truck up to the uh, feed mill and we're going to buy a full load of corn here and just charge ourselves the current market rate for corn and use that to generate ourselves a bit more hog feed using the feed mill. I've been thinking about it a little bit. I think that's probably fair. Uh, given that that's the current market rate, we should be able to just uh, nab a full truckload. We'll use easy dev tools to load us up and just take care of it that way. It'll be nice and easy. Uh, first thing we're going to do is open up Easy Dev Tools and we're going to come over here into vehicles in the fill unit for our truck. We're going to go to corn. I'm going to hit fill and then I'm going to change to the actual truck rather than just the trailer. And we're going to come up here. I'm going to hit corn. I'm going to hit fill. And you can see down here we have 1,155 bushels of corn now in our truck. If we come and look at the prices here, we'll take the most expensive. We'll even round up. We're going to buy at $16. So at $16 a bushel, 1,155 bushels is going to cost us $18,480. So we can also use our easy dev tools here. We're going to remove that $18,480. $180. That is going to put us in the hole. I don't like being negative, so we're going to borrow out more money. We're back up to $620,000 in debt. That's all right. These uh, hogs are going to pay for themselves. So let's go ahead and get this stuff in here, get it making some more hog food for us because we need that hog food and we're going to need it before the end of the day. This is really the big thing that's holding us up from uh, moving the time forward anymore here. Uh, we're already for harvest. We've done all of our spraying. We've done all of our rolling. All we've got left to do at this point on the farm is uh, jump into harvest here in the fall. With all that grain dumped into the feed mill, we simply need to come in here and reactivate it to get the pig food cranking through. And hopefully at 2,160 cycles a month, we're gonna see that pig food starting to come in here which means we're gonna be able to run this out to the farm here pretty soon. You know, I'm gonna leave this uh, truck here for the time being, just because you don't know, we might need a little bit more food again before we hit the end of the year. We might uh, do this same trick where we buy another load and dump it in here. I'm really hoping though, that uh, what we're cranking through right now is gonna give us enough to uh, hopefully, hopefully keep the hogs going for a bit. All right, so we're down to less than 2,000 after uh, ticking by two hours. So I'm gonna grab what feed we've got here. We're gonna load up this trailer. It looks like we've actually got a little bit. So that's encouraging, hopefully enough to keep things going for an overnight pass here. We only managed to get 50% of this trailer though. I was really hoping for a bit more. If we look here, we've actually used up the bulk of uh, that corn we put in. So a full load of corn looks like it is not enough to even fill this trailer up. Probably by the time that's done uh, working, it probably would have been close to a full feed trailer. But it is what it is. I'm, uh, I'm not sure this is going to get us through one more month. So if this doesn't get us through the night we're gonna have to really take a look at how many more loads i want to buy probably a few though because we've got a lot of hogs there and really a couple more ticks with our hogs are going to make a huge difference here in how much profit we make all right we're loading this pig food into the hog enclosure here if we take a quick look it's going up pretty quick here um, I think we determined we needed about 40,000 to get through a single month uh, tick over. 
I'm not quite sure, but we've loaded what we've got into here. And so I think the only thing we can do is start advancing time and hope that we're going to have enough to make it into the next day. So I'm going to go ahead and bump this time up here and I'm going to just watch in here as we go every hour. I think the hogs use up a bit of food, but we're going so fast. I don't think that the game had time to update here. So we're going to slow down for a second just to keep a tabs on where we're at. I think we're going to be good. So I'm going to move this forward a number of hours. We're going to get through the midnight hour here and take a look at where we're at. Oh, the loan interest and the property maintenance, it's all adding up. But our crops are moving to the next stage. That's encouraging. And we are down to 23,000 here now. So I'm going to keep going a little bit here until we get back into the daylight hours. But it does look like we're going to need about a full truck per day or per month here, I guess I'd say. There we go. We're already back down to 8,000. And if I jump over here to the feed mill, we don't have that much sitting there. We're not making any more. So well, the first thing we're going to do is repeat uh, our little experience from before. We need to get to October here. So this load's going to get us to September. And then in October here, we'll be uh, bringing in our own corn off of the fields and be able to kind of keep things going from there. While the... Uh, feed mills running we're gonna run our combine back up to the farm here we'd left it out here after we finished that previous contract no sense uh leaving our equipment out here in the neighbor's field got to get it up to the yard and switched over to do our corn all right we're back up at the uh feed mill and we are getting the pig feed that we've got made so far and then we're also making a quick uh, auto drive course into this so that I can send the driver back and forth a little bit easier. Uh, much like last time, we're only at about half, less than half this time. That's because we are still cranking through it, so we are making more. That's uh, all right, but we're not going to get very much more here. I want to keep moving on this, so we're going to pull on out of this and see if I can connect these auto drive courses up here. Don't need anything too fancy for this. We're in the, uh, whoops, final stages here. And we'll just send this guy right back up here to the farmyard. I think this is gonna work out for us. I'm hesitant to buy too much more corn. I don't think we need that much corn. I am gonna take out a bit of a loan. I always hate being in the negative. Keep everything honest here. And yeah, let's get this by a guy back up to the farm and see how we're doing. And just start this guy back off to the feed mill. Uh, because we have to use the auger to do like kind of the fill, unfill, I can't really fully automate this, uh, which is okay. Oof, I'm so glad he's on a worker right now because that would have been a uh, whole corner of destroyed corn otherwise. And we'll, uh, we'll keep it moving. We're going to keep an eye on our feed situation as we move through the time here. And uh, these hogs are starting to get close to that selling point. I think after they get through the two more chunks here, we'll sell them off. So that's probably uh, the two months once we get the uh, get into harvest here, they're going to be ready to be sold. And there's our monthly loan interest, property maintenance, etc. Costing us a pretty penny to keep the farm going here. And man, this auto drive worker is just uh, costing us a small fortune to drive up here and get uh, everything uh, done automatically. The price we pay for being lazy sometimes. We've used up everything we've got in the uh, bin. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this since it does cost us a little bit of money, not a lot. And I'm just looking here. Yeah, we're cutting it down to the wire. I think we're losing about 2,000 uh, liters per hour. So I better slow this down. We gotta make it into October, I keep saying. We gotta make it to October. So we gotta make it to one more day cycle with the food that we're bringing up there right now if we would like to keep everything productive and get into that October window without spending any more money. It's going to be tight, folks. 
uh, start bumping the time back up, see how far through September we're going to make it before we run completely out of feed here. All right, we're moving the time forward here. We're just about at midnight and we've got just over 2000 liters in here. So I think we're going to be OK. I'm going to just bump this up and over the hump here and boom, we're into October. We had just enough money to cover our loans. And uh, would you look at that? All of our crops are just now turning to ready for harvest. Oh my goodness, but we are at zero food capacity. It looks like we had a whole, whole bunch of newborns here. And uh, these did take over, but their health is now a little bit low, which I don't like. I think we need their health to be at 100% to get uh, the full dollar amount. Let's just, uh, maybe we'll go see. We'll test that theory. I don't think their dollar amount's gonna change a whole lot. It's just a little bit. And quite honestly, we've gotta start moving some of these hogs. Uh, yeah, I don't see uh, any major penalties here. So let's go ahead and just sell off these ones that I know we're gonna sell off. And just like that, our $800 uh, hogs have been moved. We've got a few more here. I can't see their stats in this window. One of the things that bugs me a lot about uh, the animal windows here is it's just really hard to get a good handle on where things are at. Man, I, I was swore these were going to be worth a little bit more when the things ticked over here, but uh, we're not quite where I'd like to be. And we've got a whole bunch more that are going to give birth here in a another uh, tick. So we're going to keep those around. We're going to keep uh, this where it's at. We're kind of hard up for corn right now, although we've got fields and fields of it ready to go. We might actually bust out a combine here and uh, go get a load of corn up by the feed mill just to get things moving. And we're going to use that money that we just got. I'm going to go ahead and pay this down while I'm thinking about it. We're at a negative five, six, five now. So we're making good progress, but we just got a long way to go here, folks. So. Let's go ahead and get this guy over to the feed mill. I know it's dark. We'll uh, we'll do some magic here. We'll knock out a little bit. We've got a lot of harvesting to do here. And so we're going to get started on it here right quick. I absolutely uh, hate recording in the dark. I find that it doesn't usually come out very well, but we're going to give it a little bit of a shot here. I find that the in cab is actually not horribly bad. It's actually somewhat reminiscent of harvesting in real life, although I mean, we never had LED lights that were quite this bright when I was farming. It was actually quite a bit harder to see than this. So we're going to open up this field, get enough corn just to get the feed mill cranking out some feed again and see what we can do. Looks like I lied. I can't do uh, I can't do in cab. I just cannot see the uh, outside snout with the way that the field of view and everything else works out here in farm sim so we'll go out of cab here i'm gonna get it opened up we're gonna get one load of corn into the feed mill as fast as possible because i really really want to get that feed going before the hour ticks by i have slowed time down pretty dramatically to give us that opportunity and i think uh i think after a couple of ticks the health rating on all of those animals should come back up. I think the animals tick every hour. They eat a little bit of food and their health rating gets adjusted. So I want to do the experiment and see if their health rating comes back up, if that price per hog comes back up. If it does, we may have some regrets for selling off that first hundred, but at least the uh, rest of our hogs are not going to get penalized here for being under health. Um, yeah, not the best uh, land quality up here, so these are not going to be our highest yielding fields, which is encouraging because we already have uh, 90 bushels and we haven't even made it around the field yet. I love harvesting corn. I like that it's a high volume crop. And I have to say, these uh, autumn nights, it's not too dark. I got rid of the relight mod. And so we're sitting just after midnight with a full moon and you can actually kind of sort of see what we're doing here. It's not as bad as I was expecting. Uh, I wouldn't want to 
uh, play all the time in the dark like this. I'm I'm more of a daytime player, but yeah, for a little bit uh, different change of pace here, it's not too bad. We're just over half of a hopper here, so you know I could probably take this and dump it into the truck real quick just so that we can get the feed mill running. But what I'd like to do is get a worker going on this field on the up down and then we can run over and deal with the truck. I think I'm going to disconnect the trailer from that truck so I can just run around with the truck while we've got these small fields going. Um, that's going to be a lot faster than running all the way out here with the grain cart. I think for at least these couple of fields right by the feed mill. Uh, since I know we're going to dump them right into the feed mill as soon as we get the uh, crop out of the combine here. So that's my plan. We're just going to run the grain truck up uh, for this early morning section. we got the deer all running in the woods over there. I think we will just park this trailer right over on the grass here out of the way. Uh, because I do have some auto drive courses here that we might end up using for something at some point. Oh, I'm at 99%. I was hoping to clean up this scraggly bit over here, but I don't think we're going to manage to do that. So I'll start getting the auger out. All right, we got the combine emptied. I'm trying to remember why I can't. My lights are suddenly not adjusting when I push the key. I was hoping to see that we had an auger light, but. Uh, I've been having all kinds of problems with farm sim key mappings of light, and I don't know what's going on here. Either way, we're going to get this guy right back over here. Going down the uh, straight rows here, I'm going to leverage the worker because I want to whew, get the truck run up here. We're going to dump this little bit of corn right into the feed mill and get the whole process moving. It's been kind of interesting, you know, creating, I guess, this emergency for myself. We could have just bought another load of corn, but I like when you have a purpose to do something. You've got something that's really pushing you to do something in a certain way. Uh, kind of makes uh, things feel a bit more interesting here in Farm Sim World. I'm curious if I can change this to dump my corn faster if I open the door on the back. Oh, look at that. It's so much faster. We've been dumping through this little tiny chute on this truck for so long, and all I had to do was change the uh, tipping point to have the back door opened up, and it goes so much faster. That's about right, though, for me. I feel like uh, more often than not, we're doing things the hard way. All right, we have uh, just about knocked out this field. I dumped a little bit into the grain truck up here on this end just to keep the combine moving. And then I was like, oh, I drove it down here so we could uh, actually follow it along and unload on the go. So we're going to try that here, assuming that the combine can make the turn. It looks like we've got a single row over there it needs to take back down, which is actually perfect. We've got a fairly full load on the combine, 80%, looking good. Let's see if we can match the speed here. There we go. Maybe this combine actually just doesn't have a light on the end of the spout because I feel like um, the helper would turn the light on if uh, we were unloading. Either way, I think we have unloaded the combine here. So I'm going to let him keep doing his round. We're going to dump this half load into the feed mill and check on the progress of our production facility here. I don't expect the uh, feed to be made so quickly, but we are starting to get a few yards here. We're looking good. I want to get that hog feed up into the barns before we run out of the time and the hour here. I don't want the hogs to continue to lose out on their... Uh, health rating. Uh, we do have a side light on the gleaner here. That's what it is. It's not really an auger light. It's a side light. Nice. I'm going to run this combine right over to the entrance here to the next field. We're going to use our roadside entrance. I think that we can sneak ourselves in here. We've got this little narrow spot in the ditch. And I'm going to go ahead and just open this up since we're here. 
get ourselves cut into the field a little bit. And much like the other field, this one's not going to yield the best just because of uh, the precision farming side of things. This soil type is one of the worst types for corn, especially if I'm not mistaken. And so you can see we're only getting, uh, you know, I mean, we're getting around the 100% estimate for yields, but we're not getting a lot of uh, big bonuses here for this corn, unfortunately. But the fields up by the farm should do really good because I believe that's some of the better soil on the map. All right, we have finished up a two headland passes here on this little field. And because of its odd shape and uh, the trees and everything, I think we are going to go for the third time around. It's actually, we'll probably just end up going around and around. But we are at a uh, point where we need to unload. So we're going to go ahead and just nab the grain truck here run over there and get the combine unloading and then I think that's a great spot to pause the harvest for a few moments and get this feed run up to the hogs and then we can finally move the time forward and get out of this infernal darkness. I love how fast this gleaner unloads. I mean I know it's not got that big of a hopper but it uh, saves us a lot of waiting around. I don't know if I've been in this green truck in the dark. The uh, dash lights and everything look pretty nice. Let's see if we can pull in through the feed mill here. Get ourselves all dumped out here. You can hear the production facilities running. The loud uh, noise of the feed mill grinding up all of our corn. And we're going to park this right over here out of the way for a moment just because I am going to get the auto drive running on this other truck. We're leaving the lights on everywhere. I'm going to have a lot of dead batteries after we're done with this. And let's go ahead and see if we can pull this pig food out. We've not got that much. But it should be enough for at least a few hours if I'm not mistaken. Alright, we've got the feed truck up here and it has got some Excellent lights. Digging it. Get pulled over here. Gotta find the right spot for everything. And all that for... Uh, looks like we could probably move time forward three hours with that. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. There's our first move, 99%. I didn't see a big jump in our prices at all, which is probably okay. There's our second hour. We'll go one more hour here, get this up. Didn't quite make it back into the daytime hours, but what we did do is hopefully get the uh, production facility going here. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, hog food up here now that we're going to be able to go grab and run back up here, and that'll keep us going for the rest of the day. We got our health back up to 100%. And we're gonna get all this, uh, all this set back up now and running without any issues. Get into some daylight and really dive into our harvest. Oh, look at that! All that glorious pig food. We're going to send this guy right back up to the farm and uh, refill and get back into the daylight. I can't stand playing in the dark. All right, we are finally into the daylight. We got that uh, feed brought up to the farm. Our hogs are happy and fed. If we look here, we've got uh, over 20,000 liters in the uh, in the hog enclosure now. So we've got the rest of the day here, at least 10 more hours, I guess, that we can go since we are using up feed at a rate of about 2,000 per hour. That's a lot of uh, liters of food per hour, 2,000 liters. Surprising. Those hogs are uh, very hungry. And so that leaves us with being able to get into the daylight here and knock out a lot more of our harvest. Uh, we did those first two fields in the dark. A little bit of uh, crazy times there, but that's all right. And if we look here, we've got slightly better soil types here, but uh, it's really the main farm fields where we're gonna see really good yields. But we're seeing just a tinge of green in uh, parts of this field. So I'm feeling pretty good about our yield. 
we brought a couple of bushels over with us, maybe 20 bushels we brought over from the other field just because we had it. And we're going to fill up right quick here. It looks like we're already uh, 90 bushels into the hopper, so I'm uh, digging it. Opening up these fields with all the trees and stuff on the edges is always uh, interesting. But I feel like now that we're getting ready to wrap up on this map, I'm finally feeling like we've got a good handle on it. That seems to be how it goes as you get overly familiar with the layout of a map and the layout of your fields and such. We have made the decision we're going to move to UMRV as uh, the map that we move on to from here. And I'm really hoping with the combination of the lease to own mod and selling off our hogs and stuff that we're going to be able to get a good start on the new farm. I think we're going to lease most of our equipment to start out with, get some payment plans going on it, and then transition into buying and owning stuff after we get the farm up and running. I really want to focus on having some decent size equipment and a lot of land as we get started next off. And so it's really important to me that we finish off this last harvest here on Farmville with uh, care. We want to get as much profit out of this farm as we can. We're going to be doing a big farm auction here at some point after we're finished with harvest and go through all of our assets, sell everything off and see how much money we've made or lost on this farm. We're in a lot of debt right now, but I think once we start selling off assets, we'll be in a pretty good place. The real question will just be, are we in a better place than if we were to start off a brand new save in say new farmer mode and uh, have $100,000 in the bank with some starting equipment? That's going to be what remains to be seen here. I think we're going to be good, though. I think we've done really well on this map, despite carrying lots of debt through most of it. But the only way to find out is going to be to sell everything off and do the math. I should pick up that trailer, but I don't think we're going to need it for this small field. And it's easier to dump when I've just got the truck going here. So we're going to take the truck and run back up here to uh, unload the combine and then we will grab that trailer after we dump this uh, next load and bring that up for when we're doing the main farm because the main farm is where we're really going to see lots of volume and want to have fewer trips uh, back and forth. At some point I should probably create the auto drive point to where we're dumping the grain not just filling up the feed at the feed mill so that I could have auto drive run the truck uh, in its entirety but honestly our fields aren't that big it's just a few runs and so I don't know that there's a lot of value in doing that it does look like I didn't quite get back before the combine filled up though that's all right we're gonna just put her here this gleaners auger goes plenty high so I'm not too worried about loading on the tarp side while the combine is going we're gonna do a little bit of equipment shuffling here move stuff around so I can get the grain cart out we're definitely gonna want to use that for the larger fields here I feel like even if it wasn't quite worth it to drive it out for some of these smaller fields it's way more convenient to run around with the grain cart in the field I think than driving the grain truck out there especially once we hook the trailer onto the grain truck again I have to say these Demco grain carts have been some of my favorite for small farm use for sure we've been really enjoying using them I think I've used them in several of my FS22 let's plays now the Gleaner's getting a little full, so I'm going to jump on into the grain truck here, see if we can unload on the go here. Not a whole lot of road uh, handle here, and uh, oh, getting up to speed seems to be a struggle. But we'll get her unloaded here. Hopefully, we'll have uh, a full truck when we're done with this field. I'm not sure, though. There's not that much of this field left, so... It probably won't quite get full. We'll see, we'll see. Either way, we got a fair amount in there. 450 bushels or so. Uh, move this thing out of the way. For some reason, we missed a couple bits here in the field. I don't know what happened here. 
We'll have to come back and snag those again before we're all done. Alright, we are done with this field. We're just gonna try and pick up these couple of little bits that we missed for some reason. I don't know how stuff like this happens. We got, what, three stocks over here? Not even worth the fuel to drive over to it, but that's alright. And we'll get this all dumped into this truck. I don't think it's quite gonna top it off, but that's all right we've got enough to justify running it up to the feed mill we'll pick up the trailer for the truck and get started on the big fields up at the main farm next episode hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode if you have drop a like that's all for today Ketterk out it's uh oh no I haven't been in cab in this, I think, in the dark. Our field of view is horrible. I don't know if I've been in this. Whoa, the screen truck's getting stuck.